Nobody believed that we could build a shop here at the school and that students would be interested or that the community would really support it. You know, everybody's talking about the skills gap. We have the best technology, the best CAD camp, and yet we want to train our kids like we did 40 years ago. The school system that I had gone through was four years behind. I needed four years apprenticeship to get caught up to get a job. So everything I had just learned, I couldn't use. Schools can't afford to run these programs on their own. Schools don't have the expertise to run these programs on their own. If you think about it, we're actually asking a lot of these teachers. There was no curriculum. All the teachers had to figure it out themselves, and yet we're asking them to produce kids that excel on these machines. From my freshman year at Rockland High School to my sophomore, there was no CNC's, we weren't making anything, we were in the computer, there was nothing else we could do, we didn't have anything at our shop. It had been a failing program, students weren't interested, there were maybe 90 students left in the drafting program. So during my junior year, an employee from Titans of CNC, his name was Stuart, he would come in on Fridays, work with us, he'd stay after, do whatever he needed to. I would go in and I would help them out, and I would work with Dan and we would push both of our skills to make the shop better. Because nobody believed that we could actually do a shop, all I could afford was high-speed steel tooling. We were doing some very traditional tool paths, and that was a huge problem. It was actually limiting our students because that's not the strategies that are going to make money. In that same time, Titan started the academy. Titan Building Blocks. Me and Titan got together and we've designed a small program that we could test out. We took it to Rockland High School. What's up, Nick? Hey, Titan, what's up? What are you making, man? I'm on Titan 8M right now. We would tell him what we thought worked, what we thought didn't work, and he would take that feedback. So they're coming off done? Yeah, they're coming off perfectly done to spec. We developed the building blocks a little bit more, and we got it dialed into this great process. Titan is less than a mile away, his shop, from our school. One day, out of the blue, I get a text message, hey, Dan, call me. I just had dinner with some of the top guys at Kenna Metal and they're gonna sponsor your shop for the year. I thought to myself, okay, like this is really cool if it happens. Next thing I know, we have tools coming to the school in boxes. So this includes face mills, drills, key cutters, everything we need to do the academy in steel and in aluminum. In doing that, we advanced the shop immediately. able through grants and donations to build a 1.2 million dollar shop here that we're really really proud of. We have 270 students signing up. The school ran out of metal the first week which had never happened. The most parts they had ever made were nine total out of four years and within the first week they made 18 homes. By having the best tooling, Kenna Metal Carbide Tools, we've been able to change our toolpath structures in order to take advantage of these new technologies. And not only do they run the parts, but they've learned how to machine, so they run their own parts now. What's this, man? Oh, that's my vice handle I got. Dude, you made this? Uh, from my own design. Sweet, man. That is awesome. So you basically just put this thing on, and then boom, boom, boom? Yeah, here, let me show you how it works. Awesome. Yeah, so you just come in. You got your part right there that you just machined. And you just come in, put it on, and just comes right off and goes right back on. Awesome. Before the building block series, all I could do was make a square. It really helped me move what I could do to the next level. Before the Titan building blocks, I used to be called Crash because I was not very good at machining and I'd broken a half inch bit doing a robotics part. It's a very fundamental based process. It starts out easy and simple, so that way it teaches the students repetition. We can base each skill off of another. I'm here machining the Titan 10M, and we took some of this design, like the ISO grid, and put it into our robot for practical applications such as weight reduction. At first, I was having trouble trying to cam this, but watching Titan's videos really helped me, and now I can really feel like I can make any one of my own parts. I love seeing it. I go around and I can see someone just start with one, and then a week later have all time. I learned a lot. Uh, I started off drafting, like drawing out everything, 
and then I started working on lathes and our manual mills, and then once we got our CNC's, I fell in love with this. What's up, Nicole? Hey, Titan. What is going hey, on? Hey, how are you doing? How are you? Doing pretty good, how are you doing? So I'm good, yeah. look at you, running Titan parts. That's yes. awesome. Running the 2M right now, I get ready to set that up. They get you figuring out what you're gonna have to measure, actual dimensions, so when you're making a part, it can be a real part that you can get out there at a drop shop. So I just finished the Titan 2M. Super cool part, just like Titan 1M. We got the two pockets right here and quarter 20 threads in the middle. 0.750 by 1.950 by five inches. Did you already run like the 3M? Yeah, this one right here. Yeah, so, good. so I like jumped ahead. Jump ahead, yeah. So you can like become an expert that much faster. Mm -hmm. Already ran a rectangle, so I want to run a circle. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. it's good that you go back because you got to go through the process so you learn everything. If you love doing this, like go for it. Like it doesn't matter if you're like the only girl. Like I've been there, I'm the only girl in the class. So I mean, I think anybody can really do it if you have the drive, the passion to do it and want to learn. Manufacturing education, especially at the high school, is perfect for all levels of students. You know, when I look at Tanner, I mean, he is a sophomore. He is designing and machining incredible parts. Like, this part is no joke. So the Autodesk Cam Challenge. One of the requirements had to be a trophy and had to have the Autodesk logo on it. My original design was just the trophy cup, and then I decided, you know what, go big or go home, or in this case, go small. He's actually not only building the building blocks, but he's grabbing what he learned and he's creating his own designs and that's what excites me. Like, look at that F, it's flat and he machined it and it's all in place and it was freestanding. Like, that is crazy and I have a feeling like, oh man, Autodesk, if, if Tanner doesn't win this, you better have something awesome because this is legit. From where they've come to where they are now is centuries ahead. All of our partners are insanely important to the success of this program. Without their help, we wouldn't be able to have a program. This is the future of our trade, and it's our job to actually come around the teacher, pour into these kids, and solve that skills gap, period. Students completing my program go on to work for companies like yours, Titan, and Jacob's a great example. And being here for almost a year now, I've gained all this knowledge and I came to a point where I wanted to give back. I wanted to help kids that want to get in the trade, but they just didn't have the experience. Other machine shop owners, other leaders, I want them to actually see what these kids are doing and understand that they can actually pour into a high school like I am and my team is. They can do it in their own neighborhood. We've gone from being a program that can teach a student how to machine to a program that teaches machinists because of this curriculum. And we have the support now that changes a program from being something from 20 years ago to being a program that will last for students for the next 20 years of their career. The students at Rockland High School laying it down. Boom. 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 Boom.